This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of Kite Man Season 1's finale, Episode 10, Impossible Schemes. And honestly, this was a really enjoyable episode. I think they did a good job wrapping the season up, but also setting up a Season 2. The relationship between Kite Man and Golden Glider was done really well in this, where she would have had to kill him to actually destroy the anti-life equation. But it ultimately didn't happen with her not wanting to do it and her mother taking the equation for herself. It seems that her mother is going to be the villain of the next season and will ultimately probably be killed at the end to destroy the equation. And honestly, I'm excited to see what they do with another season. Characters were really fun. And then there was also some interesting things like the completely out of nowhere appearance of Martian Manhunter. Honestly, that was <laughs> just a really great twist at the end. Where they're all fighting for it and wondering why don't they, you know, just try and get the Justice League involved. Give it to someone maybe like Superman who could possibly either destroy it or like throw into the sun or something. But then they just have completely out of nowhere Martian Manhunter show up. And that was honestly just a great little twist. And there's also the pretty interesting thing where they're saying that only Kite Man could go and open the equation and use it. Since he really has no ambitions, but... And, you know, he has no, like, darkness in him. But I'd say other characters that would probably use it are probably, like, Superman, The Flash, and maybe, like, you know, Wonder Woman. I feel like Batman's a little too much of a risk, but I'd say a good amount of heroes probably could use it. But just continuing on through just really everything else with this episode. The conflict with Darkseid and Lex Luthor was honestly a lot of fun. And all the characters were just really great in this. And honestly, it was really enjoyable. I think that it was a solid and really done, well done season. And I'm really excited to see what they do next. I wonder if any of them will be appearing in Harley Quinn, which I think is supposed to come out this November season. I think it's four or five. I can't remember which one they're on right now. But... I do hope at least a few of them get to make appearances. Bane was really fun in this. So honestly, I want to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments of not what you thought of this episode, but the season as a whole. And I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen. And may the force be with you.